to do the team mining taxes they've turned them around and well you can really put your hand out of this commentary box here at the coliseum and grab the atmosphere in great fistfuls they're coming back into line the noise is absolutely deafening here's carter and really what a test of the character of this young yorkshire terrier panel two must be affected it really is electric out there on the inside we remind you it is peter collins there's panel what must be going through his mind at this moment with three has carter on the outside it is crump and once again they'll try to settle down and go and away they go and it's pedal in front pedal moving out and collins collins has swung out and carter's back in last place as peter collins goes away in second place it's crump and now we're going to have to see what kenny carter can do peter collins is in front in second place still it is crump what an upset and they're all bunching up at the back and here comes kenny carter after pedal what a surprise and this one could really open up the World Championship as uh, Crump and Pennell move through in the second place. And that could be important. Carter still has not made any move at all. And here he comes through on the inside. And he's moved over Bruce Pennell. What a move. Oh, what a move. And again, Pennell will swing on the inside. And he's taken Carter out and knocks him straight into the fence. Down he goes. And what is referee Tor Kittleson going to make of that? What a moment! It is still Collins in front. He must stop it. He must stop it. Carter is trapped under the fence. And what are we going to make of that? Well, it was getting pushing and shoving and elbows. Neither rider giving anything away. And well, I wouldn't like to be the referee to call that one. Well, Carter is down. We can only keep our fingers crossed. He's okay. And as dramatic moments in world finals go, we've had 36, this is the 37th and it will come no more dramatic than that. Carter is still under the fence. And at the moment there is no exclusion light on. We look down to the lights. The referee, of course, the most experienced official, Tor Kittleson, has stopped it. And the white light has gone on. The white exclusion light and that is Kenny Carter. And that is going to be talked about till time runs out in speedway it is carter's light that has come on tor kibbleson has made the decision and that really has opened up this world final it's a dramatic moment there's surely never been a more dramatic moment but it looks like kibbleson has excluded carter and that means panel will go back in and we're going to be talking about that one for ages to come but panel you may feel was lucky to escape an exclusion or you may feel that it was fair dues. Well, there is Carter going back to the pits. And uh, I can't but wonder what he'll think about all that because he normally has his say. The protests are starting. Referee Tor Kittleson, the ring of the phone, I think, to Carter. And Carter can't believe it. You can hear him say it, I can't believe it. That race that I had turned in the corner and Bruce just took me leg and I couldn't even turn me, just both of my wheels just went from under me and he, he just ran me straight through the fence coming out. I, I was on the outside in front and he just took my leg straight underneath me and I'm not kidding referee, I just had a chance. I've been injured as it isn't. Hello? I've been injured as it, he just stuffed me straight in. He took my leg and everything, I had no chance. <laughs> Excuse me, ref, how can I cause a stoppage of the race when he just took my leg straight from under me? Unfair riding, obviously. I mean, I passed him on the pit corner and he bloody turned right. He, t I mean, he turned left. I went from the start and he turned right from the start and went straight across the front of me. And then on the first, when I come past him on the inside, he went straight across on the, on, on to, up to, up onto me and he's elbowing me and I'm trying to get off him because my handlebars were stuck on him. And he just went straight into that corner and took my leg straight from under me. You can ask Barry Briggs, Ivan Manger, ask anybody. That's disgusting. Well, I mean, that's, can you speak to somebody? That's bloody, it's just for me the world title of that. Do you know that? No, we'll have a look at it now. You come down from the box. 
That's going to cost me the world championship. I, I don't want to... You come down from your box. I have a man, John Barry Briggs is here. You, you... You, you... You come down from your box and have a look on the video and have a, have a look on the telly down here with the promoters and that. That's going to rob me of the world title. I want you to come down and have a look at it. That's not fair. It's Ivan back again. Look, they've got, they've got that replay down here, Tori. If you don't come down here, that's bloody criminal. The whole world championship is going to rest on your very bad decision. He took a minute and, 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 and the guy, and they've got it down here, and you can see it in black and white, Tori. Christ almighty. You're a responsible man. You'll come all the way around the world to make this decision. You can't just sit up there and, like a bloody god and say, I'm not going to do anything about it. Ivan, he took a minute and a half to put the red mini, uh, red my colour on. I want to tell you, that's not the first time that he's made such he's a bad decision. He's got to get him down here. Either. That's the FIM for you. That's the establishment for you. We bring that man halfway around the world to make a decision like that. You've had this problem before, Ivan? I've had the problem with him. 1968 at Wembley, done the same thing to me. Left me lying on the track as well when I got knocked off. Wouldn't stop anything. What do you think the outcome will be? Well, the outcome is, is that the World Championship is not going to go to Kenny Carter on that one man's decision. And Carter is only remembered more for all the drama, for all the arguments, and uh, for the controversy which will rage as long as men ride speedway bikes. Pennell is going to win 8-14. Collins, bless his heart, is trying to keep up with him. Third place is Crump. And at long last, we've finished heat 14. Bruce Pennell's back in the driving seat, but what a way to get there. Kenny, we heard your end of the story. What did the referee say to you? I, it, it, somebody, somebody says to me, they put, the, put my light on a minute and a half after the decision. Bruce Pennell took my leg. I couldn't even turn. I've been injured once in hospital in intensive care. I am going to fall off in, on purpose. I, all my bike and my leg and everything, it just went under the fence. I had no chance. And the referee won't come and have a look at it on the video. We had about three or four tussles earlier in the night, and, you know, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Let him shut off, let him go by? I didn't do it deliberately. He was on the outside of me. I never even saw him after I got by him. And then I just felt a little bit, and it was, it was him. Of course, Bruce Pennell is in front. I... But that's where the incident was before they hit the corner, and he impeded Carter and pushed well, Carter that... off his line. Wouldn't you possibly agree that Carter does have a case for complaint? I don't think so, Dave. I think that uh, they are still riding. You can see now Bruce Pennell in the front. Have a look here. And you can see that Kenny Carter races up. You can see Kenny Carter races up. But there was nowhere else he could go but straight through the fence, Torres, surely. And surely if a rider impedes another rider, then he must be brought to, to, to blame for that. Well, you see, if all the time you can see that Bruce Pennell is, he is in the front and he is in the lead. And Kenny Carter raises up, and he fell off by himself in just in that very second. He is falling off by himself. It's not. I doubt that Bruce Pennell kicks him collision. off. Kicks him off in that very moment. Now, what about all the arguments that followed, Tor? This was very bad for Speedway. We heard Carter say that he intended to sue. I mean, that we know is really being ridiculous. What's your reaction to that? Well, I do think when he calms down and when he is. When we, I meet him tonight, I think he'll be calmed down. But I don't like that uh, riders staying here on the middle of the field and, 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 and uh, threaten the uh, referee to, and uh, try to sue him. 